Hi guys, it's Erica from Brains to Beauty and today I have a Target haul for you guys. I haven't done a haul in a while and I actually haven't shopped in a while and I actually feel really terrible because I was only supposed to go to Target for one thing. I knew I had to go to Target for other things which is why I ended up getting so many things but I ended up getting more things than I probably should have. So before I begin I want to mention that I do have a bunch of stuff that is not necessarily beauty related. So I'm going to do the beauty stuff first and then like the accessories and then and travel stuff and then I'll do the like food that I got that I didn't need but ended up buying anyway. But before I get into all that I do want to show you the one product I went to Target for which was this. There, It's a stack of CDs for my husband. He's making CDs for some people at church. So this was the one reason I went and then let's see all the other crap that I got. Okay, first thing, beauty stuff. I did get some e.l.f. products. I think I only got one actually and it is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This is the medium so it's got the brown gel and then like the brown powder. I don't know how this is gonna go for me because I have really really dark brows but I wanted to try it out. A lot of people raved about it so I wanted to see if this would work for me because I'm, I just want to like switch it up. I always like to switch up my brows. When I start doing the same thing for too long, I start getting antsy. So I figured let's try something new and inexpensive. The next few things are all concealers. So I am running out of my Revlon Photo Ready. And this is my favorite concealer, hands down. Like for actually concealing dark spots and redness. This is my favorite concealer. It covers everything and anything under the sun and I'm almost out of it. Like I use it religiously so I got a new one. This is 04 medium. That's the color I've always used. I ran out of my L'Oreal Magic Lumi a long time ago and I used it at IMATS and I forgot how amazing it was and then I used it till it died and so I bought a replacement of this because I love it so much and this is also in medium I believe. This one's weird because yeah it's in medium. And then I saw who was it? I think it was Andrea Montalano. She talked about the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer so I decided to get it because I'm very quickly running out of my NYX CW06 HD Photogenic Concealer that I use under my eyes. Um, that's going away very quickly. I repurchased that except I don't have an Ulta near me and my Target doesn't sell NYX. And I don't like ordering NYX online. That just seems lame. So instead I'm going to try this Maybelline Fit Me. Hopefully this will be just as good. If not, then I'll go and repurchase the next one. But I also have my L'Oreal Lumi now that I've refilled it too. So we'll see how that goes. So those are really the only makeup items I got. I did get some travel products that are kind of beauty related because I am going to Cincinnati next week for work. If you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I'm an engineer for a living and I travel quite a bit for work and my husband and I also travel as well. So we're usually going somewhere once every month to two months. So I buy travel stuff a lot. And so I ended up buying a um, one time use Skin Renew Dark Spot Treatment Mask. I use the Garnier Dark Spot Correcting Cream and that's been really great. And I also use a Garnier BB Cream. And so I figured if the cream works for helping remove dark spots, this could be awesome too. This is just like a reusable mask. You just like peel it over your face. I'll try it out. I could do a first impression of this actually and see how well it does because I have a ton of freckles and dark spots. Next, I got a travel lotion. Of all the little travel lotions, there were a bunch of really great brands, but I really wanted the one that smelled good. And I ended up getting this Suave Smoothing Cocoa Butter and Shea. It smells so good. Of all the choices that were there, this one smelled the best. I ended up getting some Herbal Essence as my travel shampoo and conditioner since I'll be there for four days. I'm only going to wash my hair like three times while I'm there, so I figured, you know, it's inexpensive and it smells really good. These are the Hello Hydration ones and they smell like coconut. Yay! And of course I had to get more travel stuff. I ended up getting some Altoid Small Wintergreen Clean and Clear Mo Mult Morning Burst. I don't know if this is going to work for me. I used to use Clean and Clear when I was in high school and it was fine as I've gotten older my skin's more sensitive and I haven't been able to use Clean and Clear because it's been burning my face. I figure it's only four days like can I really hurt myself using this so I got this as a travel because I don't really like traveling with my big bulky Neutrogena one. And then of course I got my favorite Yes to Cucumbers makeup removing wipes or facial towelettes. I love these. I have a big pack of them that I use 
one to spot clean my brushes and to remove makeup at night and so I got these for travel and then I also got one more travel item um, it is the renew fresh all-day moisture contact lens solution I'm out of my travel one so I bought a new travel one and since I wear dailies I don't use solution as often as I used to so I don't really need a big bottle anyway and then I did get one hair product and it is the L'Oreal Feria Superior Preference Ombre Touch. You guys saw me ombre my hair about a month ago and I told you in a month I was going to redo it to lighten it even more and I was going to buy it. And I mentioned in the video there was only three boxes and then I discovered later online that there's actually eight choices. Well not only are there eight choices but then there are these which are little finger ones. So you can almost do like highlights instead of like straight ombre and I almost bought the other one again but then I saw this and I was like oh, I have to have this one so I might do another first impression except with this one this time I imagine it's just as good if I'm not happy with it I still have the brush from the last one and I can just pour this in the brush and just do that but this seems pretty promising I'm pretty excited about it and this was $10.99 and they ended up having all the other eight colors available in Target. I even vlogged about it. I'm pretty excited. It's pretty cool. And then one fashion related item. I wasn't there for shoes, but I ended up seeing that they had shoes. So I ended up buying some flats. These are some Massimo Supply Company striped flats. I've seen this on YouTube. I don't know if the ones I saw on YouTube were Target ones, but it's cute. It's got the red accent in the back. They're flexible bottom and they've got the um, like slip heads. And they're super cushiony and soft. I'm really excited about these. I'm probably going to like wear these every single day now because they're just absolutely adorable. That's it for the beauty, makeup, and fashion related things. The next few items are like random snacks that I really didn't need. Oh, and real quick, I did also get um, some stuff from the Dollar Spot. You guys know if you follow me on Instagram or you watch my vlog, yeah. you know I'm addicted to the Dollar Spot section in Target. And I ended up getting some beads for Monday so that'll be awesome they came it's two in each pack so um, I can have one green and gold and then my husband can have one green and gold for Monday because we are going out for St. Patty's Day but now on to the snacks because I definitely got snacks the first thing I got are golden stuff Oreos like come on who doesn't love Oreos I love the golden Oreos the best like I don't know what it is and they're double stuffed oh dang I thought I grabbed the mega stuff. I grabbed the double stuff. They had mega stuff and they were on sale. Sad. Anyway, and then um, these are Simply Balanced fruit strips. They're essentially like natural fruit snacks, which I feel less guilty eating these, even though they're probably the exact same caloric intake and they're still probably just as sugary and bad for you. But because they're all natural, I don't feel as bad. And the last two snack items I got are Skittles. They're actually not for me. They're for my husband. He is a huge, crazy Skittle fanatic. So we had been looking for Wildberry Skittles and these dessert Skittles all over the place. Like, we could not find these anywhere. And the only place we saw them was at Sam's Club. And we didn't want to buy bundles of it. And I was, like, sad. Because our grocery store is, like, pretty limited. Like, they don't have a lot of variety of things. So... When I saw these at Target, I had to get them. Oh, and one last thing. I also got these Airborns. They're chewable tablets. I am notorious for getting sick every time I travel. And considering I travel a lot, it's really frustrating. So when I saw this in the travel section, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm totally getting it. I'm going to take one before I go, one when I get there, one on my way back, and one when I get home. Because there's four in this pack, and I sure as heck need them. Hopefully, this will save my life. Or at least keep me from getting super sick. So anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions about anything that I bought or if you guys have a weird shopping problem like I do, let me know down below because I feel terrible. I went in for like $11 CDs and ended up with like a cart full of stuff. It's bad. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Erica from Brains to Beauty.